Hi, welcome to my video. My name is Cherie and welcome. And today I'm going to be talking about exfoliators and exfoliating and just exfoliators, just, just exfoliating. Adding to my spa experience at home. So I have been trying to upgrade my spa experience at home and try to upgrade my self-care. And in order to do that, I've bought some products. I am a product junkie coming into real light now. I was a hair product junkie and now I'm a skin product junkie. It seems that's what seems to be happening. But it's an enjoyable experience. I like it. So let's get into the products. Now exfoliating is a really, really good thing to do to your skin to help all of that lotion, those oils get into your skin and hydrate your skin. I can't say that I've been exfoliating for a lifetime. It's something that I've just started to add to my routine because working in theatres and working in general, I was just realising that my hands were getting really flaky in areas that I've never seen before. Just dead skin, just there on my hand, on my arm. And I just thought, what, what's going on? and I thought you know what I'm going to exfoliate see what's happening see what's popping see what's going on I normally use an exfoliating glove or something of that sort but that just wasn't getting into the nuts and crannies so I tried a product and it works in the sense that when I came out of the shower I added my lotion to my skin everything was just sinking in and it just felt like everything was going back to normal and that's what I want that's what I need that's what I need and want for my skin mm, it just smells like a spa experience already mm -mm -mm. so let's get into the products which I've said probably like the second time but never mind I digress so the first one is um, by um, Soap and Glory. It's a big brand in the UK in Boots, which is the only place where it's normally sold. I like Soap and Glory because their products are really in the basic, cheap area, depending on what product that you wish to buy. They've got lots of different types of collections with different types of smells and fragrances. They're normally quite fruity, quite, you know, powerful scents, which is quite nice because then it's like your second perfume or your first perfume actually because you're applying it to the skin um, and I really enjoy it it's really a, like a fun brand a girly brand and it has all the basic foundations of skincare that you need um, some of the products that I like some of the products I haven't even tried yet and um, I do tend to look at the ingredients list to see if it's something that I like but I you know I mentioned it then but you know I haven't even read the ingredients list <laughs> on here but it's something that I do normally like to do mostly for my lotions when I buy them which I've done a review on lotions from Shea Moisture which I really really enjoyed so you can have a click if you want to have a look at that in one of the cards above my head so yeah let's get into this one this one's called flake away and it was made for heels and feet so that is another area that I really don't tend to look at all the time prior to my self-care routine apart from painting my toenails and cutting my toenails and moisturizing and you know getting it clean other than that didn't look at for you know look at it to exfoliate the area probably back in the day when I was in high school when I felt like I had all the time in the world and then time was robbed from me and then I forgot about everything but yes so I like this one because it's a really thick consistency it smells like the classic soap and glory and I like it the most because I exfoliate on dry skin yes dry skin I don't exfoliate on wet skin because I found by the time I've washed my body then adding the exfoliant agent onto my skin the strength is just not there the motion is not there what I like when I'm exfoliating the skin the motion of the you know friction on the skin I like it I like to feel it and I feel like that's when the dead skin 
themselves come off my skin the most and I'm able to kind of help that new skin resurface. I'm not sure if I'm not even if I'm supposed to be doing it that hard, but I'm so used to be doing you know, so used to doing, you know, being so rough with my skin sometimes just to get the dead skin cells off that that's how I tend to do it. But obviously you don't have to go go that hard. But I like this one because of the consistency. It's like a paste which I like because it provides me with that consistency to, in order to slide it all over my body. The fragrance, like I said, is the traditional soap and glory fragrance. Fruity, pink, fun, slight bits of floral and they have, it, this is a sugar scrub. Um, so it says shea butter, sugar and apricot seed spa body polish. This product actually says to try it on dry skin which um, I thought okay yeah I'm gonna do it anyway and then you know wash your skin and rub it off I just find it's just it just the most when I do it on dry skin rather than wet skin but like I said this one's for the foot you can use it on the foot I've used it on my body I don't tend to always link the labels that they apply onto the product onto my body if I feel like I can use it in a different area other than my skin I will try to use it you know I like one product that does a lot of things I don't like one product that does one thing in one area because I just feel like it's a waste of money yes I'm you know buying products and you know you want a product for each angle different areas and whatnot but I like a dual use when it comes to body I like a dual use because then I feel like I'm getting my money's worth so I use this all over my body, my elbows, my bikini area, my neck, everywhere. Just use it everywhere. I use it everywhere apart from my face. And I really enjoy it. I feel nice and silky and smooth after, you know, I've washed it off. But then I'm going to go into the showering process with my, you know, my soaps and stuff like that. But you can also use it after, you know, you've had a shower if you want that little um extra added layer of protection or hydration or moisture moisture from this which i've done before i've exfoliated then i have applied my shower gel and then i'll probably use a little bit on my skin then cream then put some of my body lotion on i mean then cream then put my body oil on and then yeah i have like a bedtime perfume as well i just don't know why but it makes me feel better and it's an old avon one but it makes me feel like i'm ready for bed i love it so yeah i love this one flake away they do have other exfoliators which i haven't tried and i will be trying because exfoliating has become a part of my normal skin routine and i try to do it at least twice a week the probably the least i probably do it is once a week but i try i'm trying to do everything twice a week at the beginning of the week end of the week middle of the week or whatever just to kind of get myself into that routine Ooh. so this is rituals i've spoke about rituals before in the previous videos when i was reviewing the shower gel the foaming shower gel which is a nice experience to have it's a luxury item it's not a basic item it's not something that you really really need but i liked it because it brings in that spa experience and that's what i enjoy the spa experience so this is the exfoliating good luck scrub and this is my favorite 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 spell I absolutely love it um, it is the orange and cedarwood and yes yeah, so it's a sugar scrub uh, this one Oh, I love it. It's musky. Um, the it's a sugar scrub. It's not as pasty as the soap and glory, which is mm, I didn't really like because I like that the soap and glory gets me to kind of you know push the exfoliator exfoliation all over my skin, which this one is dry. It's got a little bit of um, oil and fragrance in there, which obviously helps to bring out the spa um but the only thing is when i apply it to my body this one's not too bad when i apply it to my body most most of the sugar stays onto my on my skin i'm able to apply it in circle circular motions but sometimes it does fall onto the bath floor which i don't really enjoy about it but i love other spa experience i just love the smell it's my favorite 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 smell this i think it's the side i don't know what it is and there's a perfume that smells similar to this that i always keep on saying that i'm going to buy myself for my birthday and i never end up buying it and it's a male fragrance but i don't care because i love it so yeah so this one is very oily it is a dry it, i do class it as dry because it doesn't have that paste like the soap and glory has to apply it onto the skin to give that manual stimulation but the smell is lovely radiant energizing which i really enjoy so that is the rituals 
The next item is another Rituals product. It is Rituals of Ayurveda, Rejuvenating Pink Salt Scrub, Sweet Almond and Indian Rose. Again, this one is a dry exfoliator. I class it as a dry one because it doesn't have a paste inside to help me move everything all around. So inside is just dry, it's just the sugar scrub. It smells quite florally, quite strong in fragrance and it smells like you're going to the beach and you're now walking to your spa, you're going to go into the swimming pool because you want a little to go into the jacuzzi, then you're going to go in to have your massage and you're going to shut your eyes for about an hour until the massage is over and then you're going to have a shower and then you're going to go and have some lunch. That is what this smells like, it smells like a spa experience every single time. I like it, it has a little bit of a tingling sensation because it's got some menthol inside which is really nice as well but because it's dry it doesn't always, it doesn't tick all my boxes for exfoliant. It does, I feel like both of the rituals have a good um, sample size inside. I bought both of these in the Cheshire Oaks Rituals Outlet where you could get four of these for £10 which I thought was really good. The jar size is 125 grams which is really good. Again like I said you can get about two um, tries out of this or maybe three depending on what you use it for or how you use it. When I was sampling it I only used it on the top half of my body because I know how greedy I can be when it comes to exfoliating but I think I like these more for the smell, the scent and the spa experience. I don't feel like it's very good when I'm using it on wet skin because I feel like the crystals, the salt and the, the sugar dissolve when I'm using it in the shower but it does leave my body feeling very nice, soft and supple when I've used the oils on top of my body which is nice because it's a nice layer under layer before I apply my lotion which is really nice. So I feel like these are, you know, when you want to add to bump up your little bar experience or you want to add like some fragrances in the shower or into the bath um I, I really I, re I do really like it uh, and I do feel like it was quite cost effective buying for you know four for for tenner which I bought two of these and some um shower um shower foaming gels which was really nice but my two goal is the soap and glories flake away or the soap and glories other exfoliating products especially mostly this one just because of the pace um it's eight pounds which is really cost effective it's easily accessible in boots because there's boots all over the nation whereas the big sizes of these are 14 pounds 90 for i think it's about i think it's either 300 or 450 grams which is not too bad depending on what you want for yourself it's a luxury item i feel because you don't need to spend four pound fifty in order to get a spa experience you can just mix up a few essential oils in your shower and make it smell the same but these do bring a true spa fragrance to the shower room so yeah so that are they are the products that are they are the products that i've reviewed today exfoliating i really like exfoliating it's really good to help all the products get into your skin feeling hydrated so if you ever feel like a lotion is not working or a shower gel is not working or something to do with your skin's not working apart from something like eczema or dermatitis or something like that you, that you need to go to your GP for give exfoliating a try because you never know it might give that old dull lotion or soap that you've been using on your skin a new type of feel so if you want to watch any of my other reviews, click my videos here. And if you want to see any other videos, product reviews, and enjoy the spy experience that I'm trying to bring to y'all, I'm trying to bring to myself, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope that you've had a fantastic evening, weekend, week. And if not, you can always try to make it better the next following week. And I shall see you in the next video.